We begin tonight with COVID in the classroom as a federal judge has blocked South Carolina's ban on mask mandates in schools. We have reaction for you from the governor, the mayor of Columbia and others. News 19's Eleanor Tabone has our top story. According to ACLU, the court ruled South Carolina's budget proviso prohibiting schools from imposing mask mandates from students and teachers discriminates against students with disabilities. Disability Rights South Carolina Able South Carolina and nine parents of children with disabilities filed a lawsuit against Governor McMaster Alan Wilson and Molly Spearman and several others. According to the lawsuit, the groups believe that students with disabilities, including certain underlying medical conditions, are at increased risk of contracting COVID-19 and at risk of serious complications or death from COVID-19 infection. It also says it illegally forces parents of children with underlying conditions to choose between their child's education and their child's health and safety. The governor's spokesperson said the governor strongly disagrees with the court's decision and will defend a parent's right to decide what's best for their children up to the United States Supreme Court if necessary. Columbia Mayor Steve Benjamin tweeted, Thank God. Thanks, Judge Lewis. Our great state is second in the nation for children being infected with COVID-19. We can do better. We must do better. The South Carolina Department of Education said they are reviewing the decision and will provide guidance to schools and districts on its implications tomorrow. In Columbia, Eleanor Tabone, News 19 WLTX. Well, tonight we're also hearing from Richland One School District spokesperson Karen York who said they require all of their students and staff to wear masks right now to help reduce the spread of the virus as recommended by public health leaders. Now they do say they are seeing the benefits of that policy and practice in Richland One. She says this ruling is a win in their overall efforts to protect students and staff during the ongoing pandemic.